So I have, this is just basically the, the root of the question, okay? So we're talking about romance and love, and you do have the hangman. And he's shown up in the uh, upright position. So this is a card of waiting and in suspension. This is also a situation where you're looking at things and love and, you know, just um, even dating for those who are single. You're, you're looking at love and commitment and relationship from a very, very... Um, different perspective. So whatever you've been doing in the past, you're thinking about ch switching things up and doing the opposite. So if you've been like the type that has been monogamous, you're thinking of like casual dating and vice versa. If you've been, you know, casually dating in the past, then you, this month you're more serious about, um, you know, entering long-term commitment. So it's basically, a um, this is just thinking about it, okay? Trying to switch things up. So nothing is definite yet, but um, you are thinking about that. So what is crossing you for good or for bad is the judgment card. The judgment card. And um, it's basically, you know, in the process of switching things up, changing the way you approach relationships and um, romance and love in general, you're, cut, you're going to actually implement these changes with this judgment card. This brings about a new beginning and it also brings about a decision that affects other people. So it does affect you and the people around you, namely um, the people in your immediate circle, your family, your friends, and your romantic partners. So for those of you who have been uh, married, this is, you know, like a renewal as well of your vows and commitments. And for those of you who are dating and single, this is also the process of branching out and basically letting other in more on your inner life, like your 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 mentality and also your mental processes, the things you, you think about, your values, your beliefs, okay? So this is actually very great. So it's changing the way you approach things on a more... Um, enlightened spiritual and uh, philosophical level I feel you know with this card all right so what's in your past and this is not I'm glad is in the past so this is the tower um, one of the worst cards in the deck but um, I'm glad it's actually in the reverse position so it feels like this is something that has happened you know within in 2015 actually because even if it's too in January is too soon for this to be inverted so I feel like this is a lot of um, problems upheaval and you know things within your relationship that happened in 2015 and there is no um, there's no three of swords here to indicate that um, there has been you know so upheaval could indicate just you know like um, separation or um, people showing their true colors after a long period of time dating them and you're not happy with it so you've walked away from that situation or just you know realization that what you came to depend on is no longer there so for some of you you might have gone through a separation or the other person have left you um, or in general um, you're basically confronted with the truth okay it's in the the reverse position so I feel that you're quickly coming to terms with it this month and you know it's it's going to um, spin back every once in a while this month due to the mercury and retrograde period but um very quickly you're actually learning to cope with this and deal with this as well and I just want to say for those of you who have been um, like broken up with in the past I feel this sense of um, this energy coming back in very strongly as well this month okay like that anguish the hurt it might cycle back in so be aware of that and try to let that go as much as possible okay remind yourself of the good times okay so the next one is um i'm supposed to this is uh what's coming in immediately so this is not the outcome this is just energy coming in I have the High Priestess, and this is basically, um, she's a very spiritual person as well. And I know Spice, uh, Pisces are probably the most um, spiritual sign of the Zodiac. It is actually the last sign, so you are very, uh, most of you tend to be old souls, and you are very spiritually evolved, okay? And a lot of Pisces and um, Sagittarius, too, tend to get into organized religion. So with the Judgment card, I feel that, you know, there's this uh, definitely a change towards um, a more universal love with the High Priestess. And she's, um, this is basically um, 
a lot of you have undergone a transformation in which um, you are looking at love on a very broad and um, spiritual level, okay? So um, I, I feel like a shift from, you know, loving somebody like in a in a very physical way, such as, you know, just like having, um, I don't know, a f showing affection for them and showing, um, you know, just like having the, the physical chemistry and having that stable, you know, home life and, you know, something you call a relationship, whereas this is like the evolution of love, where it's more, um, it's more spiritual, loving somebody on a very human level, but at the same time, um, ascribing characteristics to them that um, that humans don't have it's kind of like unconditional love so a lot of you have been through a lot you know with in 2014 and now you've evolved and you've come out on top and you're approaching things from a very deep level so you want that soul connection and you want that um, that other person that you get involved with to love you on a very deep and profound level and which is a great thing to do um, in the process, though, in the process, the crowning energy, your expectations are very, very high, which is fine, okay? You want to find that profound love, and you feel that, you know, with the Six of Wands in reverse, um, that no one will ever meet your expectations, so you feel a little defeated. Um, I mean, like, at this point, I, I just feel that some of you, those of you who are, um, you know, who have broken up with somebody in the past, you just, at this point, you're, you're still a little guarded, so you're setting your sights very high, just so that you don't end up in this situation where you got less than you deserved. Those of you who are in a marriage, in a very stable relationship, this is just setting impossibly high standards for your partner, and they can't live up, and then you get angry. So, um, be a little more grounded and realistic about this, okay? So if this is the route you're going, make sure you can meet your partner halfway because I think, I just feel that these are like impossibly high standards, okay? So be careful about that. And um, when you're, you, it's hard to go back and it basically, it's um, expectations are set both ways by both partners. So make sure your partner agrees with you on this. And also make sure you actually can even live up to this ideal, okay? Otherwise, you're going to be um, in a very disappointing situation. You and your partner both. Or you and the people you choose to get involved with both, okay? So be very realistic, Pisces. So this is um, basically the hopes... I'm sorry. This is the um, subconscious things that are you or may or may not be aware of. Okay, so this is actually a very lovely card to get in the upright position. So this is a card of um, celebration with the judgment. You know, it, it just indicates like a, a renewal. So um, I mean, in a love reading, this is basically um, everyone is on the same page. <clears throat> so even though you have this fear of failure, of um, uh, having to basically compromise and things like that in order to get this ideal love, just know that the ideal love is already within your reach, okay? So you do have this profane and very profound relationship within your midst, alright? So just know that the other people are already there by your side through thick and thin, and that's indicative of very profound and deep love already so you don't have to um, you don't have to um, go out of you don't have to look elsewhere for this okay so for those who are in relationships so make sure you are a little more appreciative of your partner and what they contribute to your relationship for those of you who are looking you know this also denotes getting yourself out there because the love that you're looking for the love interest that um, will actually meet your expectations or within your circle of friends. So this is actually very, very nice energy here. All right. So this is just <clears throat> the advice, overall advice from the universe based on this situation, okay? So let your guard down, let your expectations down, okay? And this is actually a good time for you to do this month because you're going to realize there's nothing to be afraid of and if you've been setting your expectations too high just you know get off your high horse alright so this is basically let go of that fear 
the anxiety and also um, don't be so fearful of this failure not being able to find that person that meets all your ideals okay because they're within reach you just don't know it yet and you're looking in the wrong places so go to friends um, I feel that they're already within your social network it's just a matter of um, it's just a matter of assessing things very realistically because that person is already in your midst all right for those who are single all right so uh, let your guard down a little bit and you know um, don't be so fearful of having to settle for less because um, the people who love you will compromise and to make you happy so you don't have to worry about that too much and here we have the external environment so Pisces your card is showing up here this is the moon so the external environment um, the people you're going to come across this month in your love circle in your relationships or in your sphere they're going to be a little moody okay so just be aware of that and it is Mercury retrograde so people miscommun miscommunications are very common and also people are going to want like um they're going to want a more emotional union all right so for those of you who are single and just are looking for light-hearted relationships I don't feel that you are just because of this high priestess coming in so I don't feel that most of you are seeking just random you know dating um, but um you're going to feel that um, a lot of people are in tune with you emotionally you are well very well received but um, people tend to be a little moody and a little strange um, with their behaviors they're going to feel the people you encounter in your dating um, in the course of casually dating too they might seem a little needy all right um on top of that you do have this very good card here which is you know hopes or this is fears and hopes and um you have a lot of people to choose from i mean people are very receptive to your high-minded and very spiritual outlook in life and in love so you have a lot of options but um the fear here is um well you're hoping for a lot of options and i feel that you will but um the fear that comes in is choosing the wrong choice making the wrong choice and choosing the wrong people okay so again i want you to be aware that um, setting your expectations too high to can set yourself up for failure so um, it's kind of like a self-fulfilling prophecy here in that you're so afraid of picking the wrong choice that you don't do anything and I feel that corroborated here with this outcome card so you're so afraid of picking the wrong thing you let all these opportunities slip you by and then you know due to inactivity and then you end up in a place where you're just you're feeling sorry for yourself you don't have the outcome that you wish okay so it is very important here with this outcome card the eight of swords in which you feel like you're bounded and that you don't have all the information you need to move forward so you know like um like i said the people are going to be a little needy and a little demanding and a little insecure too and I feel that um just the the way the energies are laid out too that um you're going to have a hard time deciding so indecisiveness is going to be a huge factor but don't just pick one I feel that um you really can't go wrong because you know in, in your subconscious you already have that joy and peace that you need and you already know like this is a very spiritual woman you know and for those of you who are in a committed relationship you don't know what to do to enhance the situation but I feel that deep down the emotional connection is already there so you don't have to think too hard this is a matter of not overthinking and at the same time you have this you're guided by your intuition you know so you know what you need to do It's just a matter of doing it fast enough so that you can get get something done alright so indecisiveness is going to be a huge factor you have a lot of uh, love interest to choose from but you have to get out there and actually make up your mind alright because these people are counting on you they're very needy and they need reassurance they constantly need reassurance so get out there make up your mind make them the center of your world and then their insecurities will go away okay so it is very important for you to help others overcome their insecurity and to help yourself overcome your indecisiveness by making a choice it's very important to do that alright 
and it's going to bring in a new beginning in love for you and a new way of approaching love for those that are attached okay so a lot of um choices here so in terms of a love partner too um you might meet a fellow pisces those of you who are dating and just keep in mind you're going to be meeting a lot of people and you might have quite a few options okay but i think pisces pisces are generally a very good match okay